Hey everyone, it is I, Hellgear, and it's time for the Dr. Mario World Survey. Now normally I would leave in the description below the questions of the survey that I ask and answer, but this time is a little different. The survey can be found in game. Go to the notifications and tap on the want to take a survey bulletin. It will take you to the link where you get the survey taken and you can go at it. You have until February 20th, 2020 to take the survey and all players who do will be getting a gift, gift sometime after the survey results have been collected. So remember folks, we answer this honestly without being a complete and total jerk. Here we go. Do you know of any other Dr. Mario games other than Dr. Mario World? I know a lot of Dr. Mario World games, from the Nintendo to Dr. Mario 64, which was my favorite, and I believe the Wii had a downloadable game, which was a four-player versus mode for Dr. Mario. Never got to play that one, though. Next question. Do you think Dr. Mario World is similar to other Dr. Mario World titles? In, in a core presence, it is the same. You're dropping pills, you're busting viruses, and in the case of versus mode, you're jamming your opponent with other viruses. Next question. Which platform do you most frequently use to play games? I usually play on my dedicated video game system, which they have, aka console. I do play mobile games too. Next question. How often do you play on dedicated video game systems? Uh, <laughs> I play a lot. Just about every day I'm on my Switch or... Yeah, I'm on my Switch mellowing out or my 3DS or something else. One of my other ones. Next question. How often do you play on your mobile devices? You know, smartphones and tablets. Again, I'm doing this every day. Not as much as I would on console, of course, but I do play mobile devices every day. Next question. On average, how long do you play on mobile devices per day? A couple hours, actually. I don't really want to play too long unless I am have insomnia, then I'm playing for a while to mellow out and go back to sleep. But usually it's like a couple hours. Next question, what sort of smartphone slash tablet games do you like? Uh, pretty much the same as my regular game likes. You know, I like puzzle games, I like racing games. Mobile device wise is a bit of a mixed bag. Sometimes I'll play puzzles, other times I like to play runners, sometimes I like those old school classic arcade games. Next question, how much do you spend on smartphone or tablet games a month? Ah, uh, wow. Honestly, that depends on the game. In the case of Dr. Mario World, I haven't, I haven't spent anything on that, you know. In the case of like when Smurfs Epic Run was around, I would buy a little bit every now and again, you know. Or when I play Snoopy's Town Tale, every now and again when they have an event, I'll come out like 10 bucks, maybe 15. But that's really all depends on the games. Next question. Do you play other games besides Dr. Mario World? I play a lot of other games besides Dr. Mario World. That's a given. Next question. Play other puzzle games besides Dr. Mario World. Yes, I do play other puzzle games besides Dr. Mario World. Smurf's Bubble Story is the main one that I like to play. And this one on my 3DS called Bomb Monkey. It's actually pretty fun. Next question. Other than Dr. Mario World, what smart device games do you play the most right now? Uh, the, mo the games I'm playing on my mobile device on my tablet the most 
are Snoopy's Town Tale and Smurf's Epic Run. Mario Kart Tour takes third, though. Merge Dragons takes fourth, in case anybody else is wondering. Next question. Do you think Dr. Mario World is fun? I actually do think it's fun, when it's not trying, of course. Next question. If you think Dr. Mario World is fun, excuse me, I can English. If you think Dr. Mario World is fun, what makes it fun? Uh, the fact that it keeps to its core mechanic. You know, it's all about dropping pills. Well, I can't say dropping pills because pills are going vertically upward. So you're tossing pills into a vertical field and busting viruses. And it's satisfying and colorful to boot, which is also adds to the fun. What do you think the difficulty of stage mode is? This is the regular game mode with all the numbers and whatnot. And I really gotta go farther in stage mode. Uh, difficulty wise for stage mode, there are those stages where if you have the wrong doctor, it can be so much of a nightmare. But if you have the right doctor for particular stages, it's a cakewalk. So I'm gonna say balanced wise, you're on, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's hard at times and it's easy at times. So I guess it would be on a scale of one to 10, six. Next question. Do you feel there's an element of luck in stage mode? Let's make this perfectly clear. Luck does not exist in this game. The only big problem with this game is RNG. And pill RNG can be the most frustrating thing while playing Dr. Mario World. Or Dr. Mario in general. Next question. What sort of stages do you like? Uh... Ooh, I guess it's the stages where I can take out viruses and not have too many strings attached. I mean, I do like those interesting ones where the viruses are in bubbles or they have the life vests and have lots of HP, but like getting through busting bricks or collecting those really PETA, PETA um, virus coins or the really big virus coins, those are not to my liking. Next question, do you like time stages? No way. Time stages are brutal. They just don't give you enough time to clear this. And you gotta plan out a stage. You know, sometimes you're thinking, all right, I gotta think, all right, I'll put this pill here, this pill here, this pill here. You don't get that because you're on the clock. Do you play versus mode? I do play versus mode. What do you like about versus mode? Next question. Uh, hmm, what do I like about versus mode? I guess the thing that I like about versus mode is the defense system of the game. You know, not all, you know, players, depending on your doctor, you have a chance to actually block an attack instead of having to take attack after attack after attack. And certain assistants help you out with attacks and defense and defenses as well. Next question, what do you dislike about versus mode? The biggest thing that I dislike about versus mode and this is something the Dr. Mario World development team needs to adjust is when I lose a match in versus mode and there's still a lot more of my field left to play. You know, I've had losses where there's still half of my playing field left of space, but the match automatically just finishes and I take the L. And I don't like that at all. You know, or if my opponent, and like they do the old school way of 
giving your opponent the win if they clear their board and you've got a lot of junk on your side of the field, but you still have room to play, that has also resulted in an L. And I'll be real with you, that I don't like, but it's par for the course. Again, that's a core Dr. Mario versus mode mechanic. I would like to actually have no room and not be out of play. Another thing that I dislike is if you're stacked up at the top and you have a pill that can either do a color match and continue to play, you should be able to make that play instead of it automatically resulting in an L. You know, I've had like two yellow spots and then I'll have like a yellow red pill and I'll put the yellow in the spots where it would normally be a color match but the pill is off screen but after making the color match the piece would rise up normally in the playing field but instead of making the color match it's a loss and I would have liked to actually have that next question what do you think is the most appealing aspect of a character I guess they're talking about the doctors in game. Uh, I guess the most appealing thing about the doctors, I, okay, we'll do a doctors and assistants. Uh, the most appealing thing about the doctors, one, is, you know, this game has a lot of familiar faces. It's not just Dr. Mario, you know. They have just about everybody in the Mushroom Kingdom and whatnot busting viruses. We got Dr. Mario. We got Dr. Peach. We got Dr. Bowser. We got Dr. Koopalings. We got baby doctors. You know, having familiar faces is one of the things that's appealing about the doctors. Assistance, on the other hand, is another thing, which the thing that's appealing about the, the assistants is the second thing that's appealing about the doctors, and that's the skills that they have. Sometimes you'll want a particular skill to get through a stage mode stage, and you may want a particular skill for an assistant. For example, getting more points for eliminating viruses of a particular color, or more points for having capsules remaining when clearing a stage or when you fill up the, the special the rainbow pill meter you might get a full rainbow pill instead of the half circle rainbow pill just to name a few next question have you spent money on Dr. Mario World? Again, I answered this question. I have not spent a dime on Dr. Mario World. And the next question after that is, why haven't you spent money on Dr. Mario World? I'll be honest with you guys at the Dr. Mario World development team. You don't have anything worth buying to me. Sure, I could buy diamonds or boosters or coins, especially if you go up a tier for the first time in versus mode, they have a special sale where you can get stuff, but that's really not worth buying anything. Now the character packs that you guys have dropped for the marginal price, which when I look at character packs, I think of them in the mobile game aspect as the equivalent to a console game's DLC. The right character pack hasn't shown up for me yet. I think they just recently started doing character packs and at the time of my taking this survey in this video, Dr. Wendy is the character pack. And Dr. Wendy is a frustrating pain to face off against in versus mode right now. You gotta give me a character that I'm interested in playing with and I think I'll touch a little bit about that later on in the survey if they ask about it but at the time right now there's nothing really worth buying in the dr mario world shop you know coins eh boosters eh the wrong doctor eh buying diamonds Yeah. Next question. Do you want to keep playing Dr. Mario World? I 
actually do want to keep playing Dr. Mario World. Even though I'm super far behind. There's like so many more worlds. People are in like the stages of 600 and whatnot. And I'm just not even getting the 125. Put me something in the microwave here. Next question, have you linked Dr. Mario World to social media? Yes, I actually have linked it to social media. I've also linked it to my Nintendo Network account. So, or not Nintendo Network, my uh, Club Nintendo thingy. Next question, do you play with friends? Uh, no, I do not play with friends. The only thing that I do with my friends in this game is send them hearts. Usually, my peoples that I do keep in touch with that play Dr. Mario World are not playing at the same time that I am. That, the same thing could be said about Mario Kart Tour, but this is Dr. Mario World, not MKT. Next question. If there was a way to create a team in-game, what features would you use? I'll be real with you. The team in-game creation thing is a double-edged sword. Sometimes team features like voice chat or team names and stuff like that, that's just a waste of data or data, especially on a mobile device. The majority of people who are playing Dr. Mario World are playing on their cell phone and they only have so many gigs going through the bandwidth a month during their phone service or have so much space on their phone to begin with. And Downloading the ability to simply, oh, set up like a team or a registered team of your doctor, your friend's doctors, ah. Now, if there were like ways you can go through and use multiple doctors in a team event mode, that might be a whole different story altogether. That'll probably eat up a lot of space on my tablet, but... Uh, you know, some of the things like features like voice chat or setting up teams or competing against your friends in, in real time against other people or competing with your friends against others in real time, I'm probably not going to be interested in something like that. Next question, what do you think about the frequency of events? Uh, the event frequency is just fine. You get a nice amount of time to clear the star event. You get a nice amount of time to clear the virus busting event. You get the nice amount of time to do the clinic of the, the cure me clinic events. So keep that as it is. It's perfectly fine how it is, is with those events, with the exception of the clinic event. Now, one thing I will say about the clinic event that you might want to try is that the character that you um, cure, it'd be nice to have them as an assistant, you know, like Koopa Troopa, for example. If you, when you clear the Koopa Troopa event, I think right now is one of the toads. I forget what name this toad has, but um, it's one of the toads. Right before him, it was a Koopa Troopa, and I went through and cleared the second stage of that event. Now, if you can clear all the stages, which there's three t stages, in case anybody who's never played the clinic events. The first stage is you clear the first five stages. The first part of the uh, clinic event is you clear five stages. This diagnoses the problem of the person coming into the clinic for help. The next five stages are the ones where you get stars and you actually treat the patient. And once you've gone through the second five stages, you've essentially, in my personal opinion, have cleared the event. The final stage is getting through the second five stages with three stars to truly finish the event if you want to 100% it. Personally, if it was a particular character that was an assist that like the spike for example was one of the seasons had you cured like the second stage you could get spike as an assistant it'll be pretty interesting to see if you can cure a doctor 
going through one of these. Like, a good idea is instead of how you guys would use your social media pages like your Twitter or Facebook, from what I've been told, where you introduce a doctor, you have a clinic event where you cure someone. And if you can get through the second part of the clinic event, the character that you've actually cured becomes a doctor that you can play in game. That would be pretty interesting. I know there's a certain female brutal I'd like that to happen with. Final question, and it's an optional one. Share your feedback or opinions that you might have and any concerns you might have about Dr. Mario World. Well, I've been kind of doing this all throughout the survey, but I will just talk a little bit more about a few things. First and foremost, you guys need to get in touch with the Mario Kart Tour development team. Because unlike them, when players told you how they didn't want reskins of characters when Dr. Fire Mario and Dr. Fire Peach came out, which I was a part of that boat, and like, don't do this anymore. We don't need reskins in Dr. Mario. You guys actually listened and went away from that route. And hopefully, there will be no more gimmicky reskins or whatnot. You know, no Dr. Metal Mario. We, we don't want Dr. Metal Mario. You know, if you're going to give us a new character, let me be more specific. If you're going to give us a new doctor for the Dr. Mario World series, or for this game in future updates, all you have to do is look at your comments on social media. Players will tell you which characters they'd like to see as a doctor. You know, a perfect example from what I've been talking about with other doctors in my Dr. Mario World community is they would like to see Pauline as an actual doctor. You know, we already have Pauline in Mario Tennis Aces. We have Pauline in Mario Kart Tour. You know, having a Dr. Pauline would be rather interesting. What skill you give Dr. Pauline is... The jury's kind of out on that one, but some players who play Dr. Mario World would like to see a Dr. Pauline. You know, some of us would like to see that uh, our favorite female brutal, Harriet, as a doctor for Dr. Mario World. Some people actually want to see more Kongs as doctors in Dr. Mario World. It would be nice to see a Dr. Tiny Kong, though. It's not like you guys have the model to, to make off of, especially when it comes to art. Because uh, the Dr. Baby Mark, the Dr. Babies, with the exception, well, the Dr. Dr. Baby Mario and Dr. Baby Luigi, you essentially just re, you essentially took the base Baby Mario and Baby Luigi skin and put like a lab coat on them. I mean, how hard is it to put like the medical arm wrist armband around Tiny Kong, put her in some scrubs? And then, boom, you have Dr. Tiny Kong. That would be pretty cool to see Dr. Tiny Kong, though. I might actually come out of 10 bucks just to buy Dr. Tiny Kong, though. That would be pretty fun. Also, uh, can we have more time for those time stages? Got to be able to plan things out. I don't want to have to look at a stage and be like, okay, this is where I want to go, but, I, but I'm losing time trying to plot out how I want to go through this quicker. Also, and someone in the community wanted me to say this because they were probably going to do this when they took the survey. Every now and again, you guys give out free continues, which is nice. Why not make a continue where it costs less diamonds? Just some food for thought. And that's all I have on the Dr. Mario survey. Again. To take the survey, you open the Dr. Mario World game up, go to your notifications, and tap on the announcement that says want to take a survey. You have until February 20th at 9.59 p.m. to take the survey, and players will be given diamonds once the development team has collected their results. But for now, 
I take my pills to the bottle because I'm done. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.